Hey guys, in this video we are going to install 28 solar panels with 3 Tesla Powerwall trees. And uh, what is interesting, for this project initially I did plan to use Tesla backup switch. When I was here originally to provide a quote, I thought it's 200 amp service. But when we came here for installation, I realized it's a 400 amp service. Just overlooked that. So we had to update plans and uh, here's a Tesla gateway that we need to install for 400 amp service. Uh, we have one breaker to be backed up by the batteries and um, we have basically a Tesla gateway and right here is a 200 amp sub panel that is going to be backed up by the batteries. And uh, on the back side in the garage right here we have three Tesla power walls. I'm waiting for inspector right now. So hopefully we're gonna pass inspection and uh, if you're interested, let's jump into the video. Roof material is a composite shingles and uh, we're gonna have 14 panels on the left side of the roof and 14 panels on the right side of the roof. And we're gonna do chuck line to install all iron rich L foots in the ideal line. For this project we're using iron rich XR 100 rails. That means we can do 72 inch spacing between mounts and uh, we're gonna use 48 iron rich flash foot to mounts. It's two of us on the roof and uh, the most efficient way I found one person is locating rafters and uh, drilling holes in them and the other person is installing flashings and sealing them. We're starting from a line where conduit is going to be attached so one person can start wrecking and bending conduits while other person is finishing L foot installation. We have a long run between solar panels and Tesla power walls. Instead of running conduit on top of the roof, we're gonna do attic run. So we did drill hole into the attic and then we're gonna install this junction box. And it's gonna be metal flexible conduit going inside the attic. And uh, if we have PV wires, then we always need to use a uh, metal conduit. We cannot just use PVC conduit here. And uh, here's the delivery truck came. We have 28 solar panels and uh, three Tesla power walls. After finishing the wrecking, we can start lifting panels on top of the roof and uh, installing them. Here's the progress of day two. We did install 14 panels on that side and prepare trails for that one. We're gonna wire four strings. It's going to be nine panels in one string, which will go to one power wall, nine panels in other string, which is gonna go to other power wall, and then two small strings, five and five on each sides of the roof, is gonna go to the third power wall. In this case, we are spreading solar somewhat equally between all power walls and maximizing DC charging efficiency. And here's the finished roof with iron rich contour and mesh guard installed. All three power walls are gonna be installed on this wall. Because we don't have much space to install power walls on studs, we're going to use struts and connect struts to the studs, and then power walls gonna be mounted to the struts. I'm still waiting for Tesla Dolly shipment. And at the time of installation, we still have to uh, lift power walls manually. On the right side of power walls we have inch and a quarter hole to go through the wall to run AC 6 gauge wires for all three power walls. 
and here is the opposite side of this wall. And now we're going to run nine wires from Tesla power walls to the roof. We have eight wires for strings and one ground wire. I'm going to use lubrication for conduit because it's going to be pretty hard run because of a lot of wires and uh, in a flexible metal conduit usually wires going a little bit harder than in EMT. This is Tesla Gateway 2 with a 2 inch conduit hub. And here we did run conduit between main electrical panel and Tesla Gateway. And here is a NEMA 3R enclosure to run AC wires through the wall. And next step we are running two old wires between main electrical panel and the Tesla Gateway. By default Tesla Gateway has bonding jumper between neutral and ground, but in our case it's not service disconnect, so we need to remove this jumper. And here is the finished wiring for all three AC disconnects, 200 amps sub panel, Tesla Gateway and main electrical panel. And here's the old wiring explained. Uh, we have two 200 amps breakers. Those breakers supplying bus bars right here. We have two unused breakers and one breaker which is going for EV charger. This is not going to be backed up by batteries. This breaker wires used to go to sub panel inside the garage. We did intercept those wires with insulated connectors. And those two through LB is going right now into Tesla gateway. In the gateway it's going to supply side and then right here we have two set of lugs one is going back to main panel right here and going to sub panel and other set of lugs going to another sub panel so we have to install that one because uh, we want to back up 100 amp breaker which used to be right here this is a small sub panel inside the home and then we have three breakers for tesla power walls this breaker is going for pool equipment and uh, all of those loads is going to be backed up by batteries. And right here we have three AC disconnects, one for each power wall. Alright guys, that's all about this video, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.